Welcome back everyone, iOS 15 just came out, so let's take a look at it on the success and compare it to iOS 14. Now iOS 15 is on the left and iOS 14 is on the right, so let's get started. Let's start loading up some random apps, let's do phone calls, 3, 2, 1. And 14 did look to be a little bit faster there, hopping out of that one, let's get into music, 3, 2, 1. And 14 again looked to be a little bit faster there. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one. And you can see iOS 14 again seemed to be a little bit faster. Swiping through, you can see there may be the same thing. There's not really that big of a difference here. But so far, 14 is looking to be faster. Let's do clocks, three, two, one. About the same. Let's do mail, three, two, one. And 14 again looked to be a little bit faster there. And let's get into some of these, let's just get into like settings. That's kind of one I wanted to see, three, two, one. And even then I think like iOS 14 may have been a little bit faster. Hopping out of this one, we have a bunch of these third party apps we can go get into, at least a few of them. Let's get into, now let's get into Safari and I do want to load up some web pages. So you can see Safari now has the bottom bar, but we can also bring it back to the top if we want to, but we'll just keep it at the bottom for now. So let's load up some web pages. Let's do Bing, three, two, one. And you can see, you know, it was kind of flippy floppy. I don't think one was like definitely 100% faster. Let's get back into here and let's get back into here. Let's get into Google 321. This one should be quick. And iOS 15 does look a little bit faster there. And I do want to just note, now let's go and hop out of this one. Let's get into some of these other apps. Let's do calendar 321. And about the same, I don't really think there's that big of a difference there. Camera 321. And I do want to just see if we take a photo, Okay, they both look kind of the same. Let's get into their. Let's get into. So you can see that right there. That I don't know what was going on, but it did take a minute for them to take a photo. But 14 took a photo first. Let's go and open up that photo. And I still think iOS 14 was faster there. Zooming in and out, I think they're about the same. Now swiping between photos, let's see if there's a difference. And there's really not that big of a difference here. Zooming in, pretty much the same thing. There's not that big of a difference there either. But I do want to click the home button at the same time. So you can see they both kind of open and close the apps at the same amount of time. So closing out once more, pretty much the same thing. Let's do Apple TV, three, two, one. Both got notified, but it does look like 14. Got into a panel, but this one loaded this one up first. So let's go and hop out of this one. And it does seem like the closing out speed is about the same thing. Let's do podcast, three, two, one. And again, I think 14 may have been a little bit faster hopping out of this one. Let's go and load up some of these apps in the background, but I do think we have a pretty good understanding that iOS 14 does seem to be the one that's probably the more faster one still. I think 15 still has a long ways to go, but these are the latest versions of both software. This is 14.8 here, and this is 15, at least the RC version, which is the official version. So I think both of them are going to be roughly around the same thing in terms of, you know, I think 14.8 is the best one. You know, it's going to be more stable, and it's just going to be a better phone overall. I think 15 is great, but 14 is the one that I think is still the better one for a lot of people. So that covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.